So now we'll go over some of the software features that are included with the laptop. All the laptops are running uh, Microsoft Windows 8.1, which is the latest version of Windows 8. When you start your computer and you're logged in, this is the screen that you will be greeted with. This is the modern UI and this is the new start screen for uh, Microsoft. So it's going to have all your apps, it's going to show you um, your customized view of apps. Now this will be set up for you when you get your laptop and it'll have the apps that we think will be most useful for you and most helpful um, as you start your, your semester here at Seton Hall. You can see everything is laid out in tiles. Uh, these are the, the apps that we're going to be using. We have our main screen here, which has some of the most more common apps that you'll be using, like your mail, calendar, uh, and Internet Explorer. Next to that, we have the Microsoft Office tab. So we have all our Office, uh, the Office suite of apps. Um, and then finally, the, the end is just uh, apps that you can, you know, we can add later, um, sort of a customizable space for you. Now we can scroll, because this is multi-touch, we can scroll with our finger and see the different apps. Um, if I scroll up, with on the screen we get the full list of apps so we can see every single app that is installed on the computer right now so we can get a full list of the things that are running or that we can run on our computer and then if I swipe down I can go right back to that main screen if we want to find a specific app uh, and we can't find it just looking through our screen or looking through the main tab anywhere in the modern UI if I just type in and I'm gonna look for my travel application and if I just start typing, you see it starts as contextual search. So it's going to search the whole computer for anything. And this is going to search photos, pictures, any files that you have on your computer. But I want an application, so I can go ahead and click that. And it's going to bring up a screen of the travel app, the Bing travel app. Um, and then I can go through the whole system here uh, and you know get the information that I want. Now, to get back to that main start screen, anywhere I am, if I'm in an app, if I'm in, in the desktop environment and I want to get back to the main Windows 8.1 uh, modern UI start screen that we were just at in the beginning, I can hit the Windows key and there are two Windows keys on the device, the one right in the center of the screen here and there's also one on the keyboard next to the left control key. So hitting either one of those will bring me back to the start screen. Now. Um, so that's the modern UI. Now in the bottom left corner, we can see we have the uh, desktop and if I click that, that's going to bring me to the more traditional Windows desktop. Now if you've used Microsoft Windows before, this will be the environment that you're a little bit more familiar with if you haven't used Windows 8 yet. Um, so it's a traditional Microsoft desktop. It runs just the way that it ran in Windows 7 and Vista and XP. So you'll be more familiar with it if those are the systems that you're used to. Um, and I can just start apps that I have on the desktop. So we have Google Chrome here. And just as I'm in here, if I hit the Windows key, it brings me right back to that main screen. Now anywhere I am on either the modern desktop or any other app, if you swipe in from the right hand corner, this brings up the charms bar. Now, that's going to give you some you know, quick information, you get the, the time and the date. We also have our battery level and then our uh, internet indicator. So it's going to tell us if we're connected via Wi-Fi or if we're plugged in or if we have no connection at all. And then we get a couple of different uh, items here that'll pop up and these are contextual based on the application that we're in so that they will change if we're in a different application. So if I'm in Microsoft Word and I hit settings, it will bring up the settings for Microsoft Word. Uh, and if I hit search, it'll search the app that I'm in as well. Um, we have the share button, which allows me to share um, via email and social networks. Uh, the start button right here is the same one. It's just a software key for the button that's in the middle. Uh, devices will bring up any devices that I have if I want to print, if I want to connect, uh, play would allow me to play onto a different device. So a couple different options to connecting to external devices here. And then we have settings. So this is the settings for the, the entire computer uh, because I'm on the main start screen. So I have keyboard settings, uh, I can adjust my notifications, my internet, sound, and then screen if I was connected to an external device. And then if I wanted to do something more advanced, I can do change PC settings, which this will give you my user information, uh, desktop backgrounds. So we'll go into that for a second. So you can change the, the desktop backgrounds and the display and a couple other options here. Let's go back to the main screen. And if I go back to settings, 
um, one will show you, you have the power button. So if you want to turn off your machine or put it to sleep, there's a couple different options. We have sleep, shut down, and restart. So that replaces the start, shut down, um, that was on the taskbar on the bottom of the desktop. Now you'll see some of the information is changing here on uh, some of the tiles. So here is my news app and it's updating me with news. So this is what Microsoft calls live tiles. So that these aren't just static um, icons for your apps, they will change and be updated periodically with new information and news depending on the type of app it is. And one of the apps that is changing right now is the Microsoft Store. And you can see that it shows me um, what's trending for apps right now. Uh, there's a lot of free apps available in the store, but you can also um, pay for certain apps that are available. So you really get the full featured experience of a Windows desktop with the addition of a tablet computer and all the tablet specific apps that you can download and use on the device. So I'm going to pop into the desktop right now. So if I'm working in one application, be it the desktop or Google Chrome here, I can switch back to a separate application I'd been using before by swiping from the left side in and you'll see that it pulls in the store, which was the application that I was just using previously. And if I pull in again, I can bring in the Google Chrome that I was just using before. So swiping in from the left hand side is a great way to switch between apps quickly if you don't want to have to click the Windows button and go back to the main screen and then find the app you were using. Now if I swipe in from the left hand side and then swipe backwards, I get a listing of all the apps. This is sort of a, a task manager and it shows me everything that's running right now. Um, so instead of having to swipe through everything, I can see a short snapshot of all the apps that are running. So if I see that I have the new store, desktop, PC settings, and I want to go back to my travel application quickly, I can do that without having to slide through all the different apps. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions regarding your device, please contact the Technology Service Desk at 973-275-2222 or visit the technology blog for additional resources related to this computer and Windows 8.1.